Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, today in history, I'm uh, sharing the story of the death of um, someone who, of course, uh, won numerous Grammy Awards, um, was, of course, uh, one of the highest selling female artists of all time, and also was uh, one of the most powerful voices. I've seen that people have many times tried to do covers of her of music, but they, they always fail. Mm -hmm. Whitney Houston died today on the 11th of February in the year 2012. Um, it was um, one of the most shocking uh, news stories that you know, hit the world in that year. Um, she was the, one of the world's top-selling singers from the mid-1980s to late 1990s and was found dead today in her uh, Beverly Hilton hotel room. Um, of course, in 2012, on that, on this, a uh, couple of days before that, she had uh, visited Brandy and Monica, also artists, with Clive Davis at the rehearsals for the pre-Grammy Awards party at the Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills. That same day was, you know, when she made her last public performance when she joined Kelly Price on stage in Hollywood. Two days later, she was found unconscious in her suit at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, submerged in the bathtub. Um, of course, the coroner's report said that she um, maybe overdosed on uh, cocaine and eventually drowned. And they arrived um, at a hotel around 3.30 p.m. and found her unresponsive, performed CPR. She was pronounced at 3.55 p.m. Um, of course, you know, like I said, it was uh, claimed to be the result of accidental drowning, heart disease, and cocaine, which was found in her system. Um, many, of course, th th this was one of those deaths that um, for the first couple of hours, maybe even days, um, a lot of people still do not believe it's true. You know, they... they um, cannot just accept that this is reality. Same thing happened with Kobe Bryant and Michael Jackson and a couple of other people. Um, but of course, uh, it hit the world really, really hard. And, um, you know, there was also people who, who felt like the Clive Davis party should have been cancelled in honour of Whitney Houston. Um, some people have also mentioned that maybe, you know, um, her relationship and her marriage to Bobby Brown in 1992 was one of the reasons that she went, um, you know, and her life took the turn that it did. Um, and of course, got to, you know uh, into drug usage, um, struggled you know with rehab and getting herself back together. But she was never really, really ever the same person um, after that. Of course, Bobby Brown you know feels otherwise, and you know there will also be people who would say that well she was a she was an adult and she was also responsible for her actions. But of course, it was on this day in 2012 that um, the world lost one of the most powerful voices in music history. Indeed. And her song, I Will Always Love You, has been covered so many times. It's such a powerful message about love, you know. And uh, I saw something about her being one of the most, uh, you know, awarded artists yes. during her time by the Guinness World Record. And uh, may her soul rest in peace. Absolutely. And uh, um, um, it, it would never not hurt, you know, hearing um, about Whitney's death. It will never not hurt you know, here in the way that she died. And of course, a couple of years later, her daughter also died in very, very similar uh, circumstances. Um, um, and that's really, you know, the story of um, fame, you know, that eventually just turned into, you know, almost disaster. There was a time just before her death that she had tried to do, you know, come back into the, in, into the scene. Uh, she looked, you know, like a shadow of herself. Uh, her records, you know, weren't hitting as hard as they used to hit in the, in the early 90s or in the late 80s. But um, eventually, of course, uh, she passed. passed on. February 11th, 2020, today in history, the World Health Organization officially named the novel coronavirus disease as COVID-19. Now, this uh, disease broke out in China, in Wuhan, December 31st, 2019. And this was three weeks after the first uh, U.S. case was reported. The World Health Organization named the illness uh, that would go on to cause a pandemic. It was shortened to an acronym, COVID-19. Uh, be before that, it was referred to as Wuhan virus. But uh, according to WHO guidelines, names for new infectious diseases should not include uh, geographic locations. It should not include animals, individuals, or group of people and must be something everyone could pronounce. So they came up with COVID-19 and that's the CO, C-O stands for Corona, V-I for virus, D for disease and 19, representing 2019, the year it was first discovered, and that's COVID-19. And uh, ever since then, the figures and statistics of COVID-19 worldwide has been terrible. There are about 2,364,108 
980 deaths basically from COVID-19 worldwide. Uh, about 90, 79 million people worldwide have recovered and the COVID-19 cases globally is uh, over 107 million. And even in Nigeria here, our case figure from one, our first in the index case in that February, you know Italian yeah. man who flew in to Lagos from Milan, uh, Friday, February 27th, we're now at over 140 cases in 140, Nigeria. 000. Sorry? 140,000 yes. uh, cases here in Nigeria. Um, it, it, um, I know there was also controversy over whether it should be named the one virus or the Chinese virus or COVID-19. Remember how Trump, you know, would oh, just yes. call it the Chinese virus. Well, <laughs> that's very discriminatory. That's why the WHO says you should not attribute the name of an infectious disease to people names because it's a cost, you know, a stereotypical view of such groups of yeah, people. Yeah, but they, it had been done for a long time. Um, it had been done, even um, Ebola, you know, was, was you know, uh, similar to that, you know, from a place. Um, um, and so it, it wasn't the first time that we've had um, viruses or diseases or, you know, you know, crisis like that named after where they originated from. And so, you know, people that's argue why they that had China to shouldn't the, have been different. That's why they had to, um, you know, update their guidelines to say that shouldn't be done anymore. But anyway, yeah. so it was today in history, 2020, February 11th, that uh, the World Health Organization named uh, COVID-19 to what it is today. All right. And of course, I also shared the death of Whitney uh, Houston, who died today on the 11th of February in the year 2012. Sad, sad, sad story. So that's it today in history. We will now be turning to our first topical issue to celebrate the women and, and girls that are making a difference in STEM fields after this break. <laughs> 